Well, I'm Charlie Crockett. And it's Charlie with an E-Y. Crockett with two T's. I'm a country and blues performer, entertainer. I sing and play with my band around America. And now, darling, so go fight. Ain't gonna hurt you. Maybe some of y'all are wondering what's been going on with me. It's a really long and wild story, but I had open heart surgery this week. Not afraid to love you. I am not afraid. Well, yeah, I was born with Wolf Parkinson's white, you know, it's a it's a congenital heart disease. So I kind of grew up throughout my life with, you know, learning how to cope with that. As I got into my early 30s and was torn really hard, my episodes were coming back. The difference was I was having more trouble getting it under control. Even though I was dealing with that stuff, the thing that brought me in to the doctor to get fixed was actually I had gotten a hernia. I'm dancing on stage 90 minutes a night, dancing like crazy, doing the boogie woogie and all that kind of stuff. It's like luck that really saved me in this particular situation because had it not been for the hernia, I probably never would have gone to the doctor. Because of the hernia and the fact that I was at least aware of my WPW, luckily I did write it down. Got a call from the doctor saying that, um, you know, I didn't just have the WPW, but I was had a larger issue, which was that um, I had a missing aortic valve leaking blood severely in and out of my heart in between heartbeats where it should be fully closing and not leaking, it was. And so they call me up and tell me about that and they say, Charlie, you know, are you, uh, are you having shortness of breath, uh, blackouts, you know, or tiredness kind of seemingly, you know, for no reason. And I said, yeah, doc, you know, I, I am feeling all those things, you know, but I, I'm playing 200 shows a year, living on the highway, you know, I just chalked it up to being part of the game. And he said, yeah, well, you are working hard, but this don't got nothing to do with, with the touring, and we're gonna need you to get taken care of this, you know, immediately. Yeah, that was the hard part, you know, once you get the news that, that you gotta get surgery and become aware of, you know, that that their risk involved death, you know, that what they're telling you is that your heart is failing. You know, it's, it's, it's slowly failing on you. Um, that's really tough, you know, so uh, as the surgery got closer, I knew that I needed to educate myself, you know, on what I'd be dealing with and what the different choices would lead to with my lifestyle after the surgery. I'm a high active person with a with a really big live show, so it's like I needed to do the research to decide what would be the best option for a young adult like me, you know. The last five months have been a wild ride through the medical world, insurance, learning about how all these things work, and making the decisions necessary to save my life. Where I got the information that made that where I was able to weigh my options and make my best decision was actually from the American Heart Association's online website with like research they had done. I had my operation last Tuesday and uh, the surgeon Faraz Karindi did that and it was just, uh, it went really, really well for me. But right now I just want to tell you that I made it through the dark and that I came home today to start my road to recovery. Thank you for blessing me with your positive energy. I can really feel y'all lifting me up and y'all can always count on me to come over that next mountaintop. I am not afraid. Yeah. Yeah.